If you're a gamer, you're probably aware of the new games optimization can be sucks. So there's a lot of people thinking it is because those lazy game devs not working enough and they're not making optimize their game as much as possible. But this is not true. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm MetaDev and I'm creating content about indie game development in this channel. But today in this video, I will talk about why optimization is sucks in new games, what they're doing to optimize their games and what you should do to get better performance. If you're ready, let's dive into it. Game development optimization is a complex system and there is no red button to just press it and optimize it. Optimization can be changed based on what kind of game you're making, what kind of engine you're using. There are some common ways that all devs are using, which is I'm going to show two so simple ways how they're optimizing so you can have an idea what is the optimization. We can start with a question. What can cause a performance problem in a video game? We have three considerable elements in the game that can cause this problem. First, lightning and reflection systems. Second, 3D objects and textures. And three, bad coding. And all of other those are just a complex combination of them. Usually, I create content for indie game developers. Still, today I'm not making a course to help you become a video game developer. So I will not dive into every detail, but in short, we have 3D meshes, and those 3D meshes have vertices that are graphic card renders. Textures, which is basically 2D images, are wrapped in our 3D objects, and we see them as a everyday 3D objects like in real life with that way. So the lights in this scene help us to see those 3D objects and their textures. Light affects how textures are lighter or darker based on their intensity. In older games, we couldn't calculate all those things in every frame, so we were making some objects static, which means they are not moving. You can think like trees in the Grand Theft Auto. As a non-pro game developer, I want to show you two little optimizations I'm using in the most basic way for games, so you can understand the optimization concept better. I have opened my old friend, Unreal Engine. You see a blink 3D world space, which every 3D game has. As you see, my FPS count on the right side is pretty acceptable, but when I put those couple of sculpted statues in the scene, my whole performance has gone just with a couple of 3D meshes. If all games work like that, you couldn't play any 3D game existed, right? Think of games like Cyberpunk or Red Dead Redemption which have thousands of different meshes in the scene like that. So the problem with this 3D object, it has so many vertex, nearly close to a million, which we don't need. In some way, we have to decrease the vertex count of this object, so our graphic card can render this a bunch of times in a second when the object is inside the camera space. If camera is not showing that object in the scene, we don't have to render it. Because I'm using Unreal Engine 5, I can use an incredible tool. If you're ready, I will boost the performance. And here it is. Our performance went to the sky. I have used Nanite, an excellent rendering technique Epic Games developed. How does it work? It is basically like LOD, which is level of detail, but different. LOD is an old but a great optimization technique. You remember I told you this object has so many vertex, right? We use LOD to create different versions of any 3D object with different vertex scans. Basically, when the player moves away from the particular object, a mesh of this object transforms into a more low resolution version of it. And if you are far enough or don't even see it, we can remove that object from the space. Nanite does it differently. Nanite changes the vertices on the mesh dynamically without any graphical issues, so you are not seeing any low resolution, even you are far away. 3D meshes and their vertex counts are not the biggest problem. There is also another important thing. Textures. Most games use 4K textures, 
and it is not the only one. We also use maps, like normal, roughness, or specular maps to create a material. We assign this material to the objects. If you're curious, what are those maps? They're helping with shiny, metallic, and some other surface details. Those 4K textures are so big. For example, I put this study on the scene, and when we see the texture of it, this study's texture is nearly 90 megabyte, which is a lot. We cannot use this in the default way. Somehow we must compress those so the game size doesn't rise so high. I'm using Nvidia's technologies to compress, and there are in engine ways to do it too, but still, Modern games have so many textures through the objects and lights in the scene, so even if devs try to optimize it, it cannot be like a 1 GB games like before you played in your childhood. I did not even talk about the coding part. Terrain systems and PC behaviors, their skeletal meshes, virtual effects, sound designs, and there are tons of things to optimize it in a video game. Even so many people don't believe it, Game devs do so much more than I showed today. Those big games with big maps, long stories, thousands of dialogues and detailed gameplay cannot be optimized so easily like I showed you. I have some friends who work for AAA companies and they are giving everything they have to make the game better. But as I said before, optimization is a so complex thing and it cannot made with just couple of clicks. When we checked the Steam data about which CPUs gamer use, we saw some outdated models. If you want any advice from me to purchase a CPU in 2024, make sure you're using a GPU which can use DLSS. It should be at least 30 series of RTX cards. There is a couple of technical reasons for it, if you're curious I can give an article about that in the description. If a game console costs around 500 bucks, I think a mid-height spec gaming PC should be around 600 to 700. So everyone can upgrade their specs and play new games in the best way. I hope you understand why optimizing games is so hard and game developers aren't lazy as much as some people think. They are working so much more than before. The game size is getting bigger, optimization is getting worse, because there is one reason. Games are so big. Can AI fix this in the future? We don't know. But we will see. I'm making content mostly about game development and Unreal Engine. So if you like the video, please click the like button below and subscribe to the channel. I'm reading all the comments, which helping me a lot. Until the next video, see you.